Hey, how's it going? Uh, just wanted to give you an update on my turbo uh, minivan. It's been parked for a while. I haven't done much to it. <clears throat> I got a whole bunch of stuff in it. I had moved. <clears throat> I got sinuses going on. <clears throat> At the, let me tell you about what it's got. Uh, so you seen the GM uh, 727 ECM out of a late mid 90s GM uh, W body. It's got the EEPROM in here. It's weather tight. It could be outside. You could put it inside if you want. <clears throat> running the the code mask right now. It's running. It's a uh, the 8F from a 90s Turbo Grand Prix. But I'm gonna probably swap it out for the uh, Code 59 three bar. That's what the Saitai guys use. Cy Cyclone Typhoon guys use. And there's a whole bunch of tunable parameters on theirs. This one's eh, got too many safety features. Uh, the turbos are <clears throat> from uh, early. No, it's a late GM. 6.5 diesel Volk Wagner GM8 uh, <clears throat> I well used a stock front exhaust manifold they kind of made a custom crossover with a T3 flange <clears throat> the rear exhaust manifold you can't see it <clears throat> but it's a uh, from uh, 2001 up 3.8 3.3 just because of the configuration it, would, it was gonna work with this one see the downpipe I got the white band welded not nice but I mean it's it's working 3.3 <clears throat> intake manifold from a Stratus uh, some piping on there and I just rigged the blow off valve, but it's. I don't really like it. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, put some pieces from uh, Volvo for the charge cooling. I even used the inner cooler and the hoses, and I even used the, the early Volvo uh, 740 metal radiator and I laid Volvo uh, fan relay because I hated that damn module I don't know how many times that damn plug burned out and I'm using the thermal switch from uh, Saab but eventually I'm going to wire it into the PCM so I could control it uh, Still got the AC compressor, but I still got to put the condenser back in here. So somehow figure out how to put it in there. Right now it's got uh, the neon injectors. I have put the 35 pound Grand Prix injectors from a supercharged Grand Prix, but I took them out until I could get a new EEPROM programmer. Mine took a crap until I used a lot of Volvo stuff. That's a GM coil pack from a V6, 2.8 to 3.4, like 88 to uh, 2005, I want to say. That's the last time they used this style. Uh, V6. Uh, made a bracket for it, based going off the alternator bracket. Uh, GM two bar map sensor, but like I said, I'm gonna probably switch to a three bar because the tunability of that 8F still using the TCM, uh, still have the auto stick. I have made another video about putting a Sebring TCM and it still shifts, 
and all that because all the crank sensors and the speed sensors are still there and the uh, factory ECM is still there just to talk to the gauge cluster and all that and whatnot yeah. there's a the crank sensor see how I made that bracket and those notches those aren't perfect squares there there's a they they have a radius to them on the corners so the crank won't uh, fatigue there's where I put the oil drain I was originally gonna put it right there where that casting is at but that's the oil is actually like up to there where my finger is at so I would have been covering this so I put it as high as I could of course, I use a copper pipe for the oil return. I gotta find an oil cooler for this type motor. I think I've only seen one at the junkyard, but by the time I went back, somebody had snagged it. Ah, oh, my poor van. It's been sitting too long. It is the all wheel drive. But I have to take off the PTU. Still. Oh man. The original well, 41 AE took a crap on me and I put a regular transmission just to move it over here to this house. You see I, had, I was already doing other modifications with the naturally inspired engine. I put that 2006 exhaust on here and I had to mod modify the back end of it to fit this van because the original 99 exhaust is so restrictive. Yeah. 